Okay, so let's solve this uh, problem. So a uh, cylindrical tank, uh, 4 meter in diameter and 9 meter high, uh, contains liquid A, B, and C with equal heights. So 9 divided by 3, no? So that is tag 3 meter silang tatlo. Okay. So yung specific gravity ng liquid A, B, and C are 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Okay. So, ano daw yung total hydrostatic force acting on the wall of the tank? Okay. So, copy ko lang daw. So, Okay, so, uh, kapihin ko lang muna ito. Ayan. So, yung kinoconsider natin dito is hindi yung uh, curve, nung pagiging curve ng ano. No? Yung dito lang na part. Kung ito yung ano niya. Uh, let's say, gitna niya. Okay, so, mainom natin yan. So, ito na yung kinoconsider natin. Apart. No? So, I hope uh, nakikita nyo yan. So, yung ito lang na part yung concern natin. Ayun, no? So, parang ganito. Parang ganito yung itsura. So, ito yung pagiging curve niya. So, ito yung kinoconsider natin. So, ayan. So, bali, yung dimension is 4 meter yung width na gagamitin. Okay? 4 meter yung width na gagamitin. So, ito yung consider natin. So, para mas uh, madaling tignan, uh, ganito na lang, no? Uh, parang elevation view niya na lang. Ayan. Pero yung ano nito Yung Parang ganyan nya Or yung width nito Is 4 meter So ito na yung consider natin So yung klaro yan Sige, uh, kunin ko lang daw. Dito na part. Ayan. And then... So, first is, uh, kunin natin yung uh, pressure dito. At this level. Okay, so, since dito is exposed to atmosphere, so automatic zero. So, yung dito naman is meron tayong uh, 9 point yung dito. So, that is 9.81 times yung specific gravity niya na 1 times yung height niya na 3. 
Okay, so therefore this is 29.43 Next So, pacheck ko lang yan Next is yung dito Ayan So, yung pressure nito Yung yan Uh, that is 9.81 okay. times yung specific gravity nya na 2 and then yung height nya na 3 no? so we have ilan yan uh, kumpitin ko muna so we have 9.81 times 2 times 3 that is 58.81 86 Okay And then Project ko na lang yan And next is yung dito Okay So kunin naman natin yung pressure Yung dito lang na part So yung dito naman That is 9.81 Times yung specific gravity na 3 And then yung height nung liquid na yan Na 3 So, therefore, we have uh, 88.29. Ayan. So, kumpleto na yung pressure diagram natin. So, kunin ko na lang yung area nila isa-isa. Uh, Okay, so unahin ko yung area na to. Yung area na yan. So, assume ko na lang na that is 1. So, yung area 1 is just uh, 1 half. Nung base, we have 29.43. Okay. Times Uh, yung height niya na 3 Yan no? So therefore we have 1 half Nung base 29.43 Times 3 So we have uh, 43 Diretso na lang, yung force na lang. Ha? Kunin ko na lang diretso yung force. So, multiply ko na lang ito ng width niya na 4. So, alam natin yung width dito is 4 meter yung ito. Ayan. Or parang diameter niya. Kunin ko na lang siya diretso yung force. Na? Para mas mabilis. So, yung sagot nito is... 43 176.58 So 176.58 Kilo nyo ito Okay so may force na tayo dyan And then Considering yung Yung area na to So kunin natin yung force dito Yung force due to Due to this pressure Diagram So, assume ko lang na number 2 ko yan. Okay? So, yung F2 is just uh, 29.43 times yung height niya na 6. Okay? And then, times 6. So, okay na ako sa area. So, times ko na lang nung width na 4. So, therefore, we have 29.43, 43. Times 6 times 4. So, we have 706. Mm. kilo Newton. Okay. So, next. Yung area na to. Okay. 
So, assume ko na lang na 3 ko yan. Ayan yung number 3 ko. So, yung F3 is just uh, 1 half. Nung base, we have 58.86. And then, yung height niya na 3. So, area na to lahat. So, times ko na lang ng width na 4. So, there 4. We have uh, 0.5 or 58.86 times 3 times 4. So, we have 353.16 kilo nyatan okay so next is yung area na to and so assume ko na lang na uh, figure 4 ko yan so yung F4 is just uh, base uh, 58.86 times yung height nya na 3 so area na to times yung width na 4 so we have 58.86 times 3 times 4 so we have 706.32 kilo newton and uh, lastly yung ito okay. lastly yung area na ito so assume ko na lang na figure 5 ko yan so this may figure 5 so yung F5 uh, is just one half of the base 88.29 times yung height niya na 3 times yung width niya na 4 meter okay so meron tayong 0.5 of 88.29 times 3 times 4 so we have 529.74 kilo newton okay so So, yung total hydrostatic force. Okay. So, yung F total is just summation lang nila lahat. No? So, that's, that is just equal to. So, we have 176.58 plus 706.32 plus 353.16 plus 706.32 and plus 529.74 okay so meron na tayong 2472.12 kilo newton so baksa natin yan kasi yan na yung sagot okay so ganun no so pag hydrostatic force with respect to horizontal direction so always yan yung projection no? kung naka curve yan so always yan yung projection ng curve no? so kung plane lang siya wala siyang curvature sa plane so automatic yung plane na, na surface pero kung may curve tulad nung tank so kailangan natin i-project yung curve ng tank then doon tayo mag -ack. so ganun yung sa hydrostatic force okay so I hope klaro yan sige so see you in the next video thank you